indeed for joining us. So Mnulek Ndobe, mayor of the Harigwala district municipality, is saying he has mixed feelings about the provisional withdrawal of the charges. You had a bit of a chat with him yesterday. Tell us more. Yeah, very good morning to you, uh, Blaine, and our viewers at home. Uh, certainly, um, when we spoke to Mlu Legendobe yesterday, minutes after he walked out of uh, the um, Zumkulu Magistrates Court, a free man, or at least for now, considering the fact that the state has said that it's withdrawing the, the charges against him, but provisionally, meaning that they could, at a later stage, uh, um, reinstate those charges against him. But he said, uh, Blaine, that even if uh, they were reinstated a day later, or even a year later, he still maintained that he is innocent and he said that you could accuse him of anything but not a murder also saying yesterday uh, when we left uh, that he was going to be meeting uh, shortly after his release uh, with his legal uh, team to discuss a way forward not wanting to give much detail about what he is going to be discussing with his uh, legal team but also importantly he said that he will be meeting with the leadership of the ANC just to get a direction from the party of course, you'd know, Blaine, as you're saying, that there have been calls from uh, within the ANC and members of the public here in KwaZulu-Natal for those leaders of the ANC who have been implicated in these serious uh, cases of murder against uh, their own members that uh, they uh, be suspended or removed from the list. In the case of Mluleg Ndobe, as you said, who stands at number three on the list or the province-to-province -province list for the ANC here in KwaZulu-Natal. So today, Blaine, uh, the ANC... ANC's NEC was to, to meet yesterday to discuss how it's going to handle this matter of their leaders who have been charged uh, with uh, serious uh, cases. So today we'll get a briefing from the ANC on how that meeting went and what is going to be the way forward for the party. Of course now playing with the developments in the, the Ndobe matter and the charges being uh, withdrawn since yesterday afternoon in fact. Member of, members of the ANC were saying he is now uh, there's no case against him and so uh, there would be no need uh, for the party to take any action or suspend him or even remove his name. But we will find out from the ANC in about 30 minutes or so on what their decision is and how they're going to be moving forward with this matter. Blaine. Yesterday, if I recall correctly, when you were speaking, you say he says he was uh, in hell for eight straight days. Uh, so he is no doubt prepared to fight this all the way. Uh, Ayana, what's the word from the NPA with regards to the other suspects? I beg your pardon, Blaine, if you could just please repeat the question. Just with regards to the other suspects, what's the word from the NPA? Uh, Blaine, when we've, uh, since we've started covering these cases involving these high-profile uh, leaders, uh, there has been um, uh, very little information that we've been able to get either from the police or the NPA. They've been holding uh, these investigations very close to their chest. A little information that we know, except that uh, in the case of uh, Dr. Ntutugo Matlabo, we know that he is back in court on Monday for a bail application. The state in that matter saying that it requested uh, more time to verify uh, certain details and uh, that they would then proceed on Monday with uh, that uh, bail hearing. So there has been very little uh, blame that we've had from the NPA. We often get uh, briefings about these investigations from the interministerial task team which will be led by uh, or rather the uh, um, the ministers, I beg your pardon there, uh, which, are in, which are the ministers in security cluster and the minister of police, uh, Mr. Peggy Kleli. He often gives the media at, at, at certain times updates so until we get uh, that media briefing by them to give us an update on the, the numbers of cases uh, that are, are at court at the moment there's very little information that we get from uh, both the NPA or the team that is investigating these killings now we've seen a lot of crowds uh, gathering at the various courts uh, where the, the, the suspects were appearing uh, you were covering this case very intently, intensely at the uh, Ndumkulu Magistrates Court. What's been the reaction from the crowds that gathered outside the court there with regards to the latest development? 
mixed reaction uh, plane from those that are supporting the family of uh, the late former Secretary General of the ANC, Sindhu Somagaka. Uh, disappointment. We didn't get a chance to speak to them yesterday because as soon as the news uh, broke, while we were still trying to get comment uh, from Mr Ndobe, they then left the uh, court uh, and, uh, this, and the members of the public who are out there immediately left the court as well. But uh, for those that had gathered to support uh, uh, Mr Ndobe and uh, the other suspects, they were saying that uh, they were vindicated, they'd always believed uh, in his innocence uh, and also saying that um, they uh, uh, supported the, the, the universal principle that one is innocent until uh, proven guilty and they're saying that uh, they also now want the ANC to deal with this matter. Some of them blame even going as far as to saying this indeed proves that there is a political conspiracy behind the, the, uh, behind the arrest of Mr Ndobe. So we will be finding out today from the ANC whether it has uh, looked internally. Is this indeed a political uh, conspiracy behind uh, these uh, latest arrests? What is the standpoint of the ANC? Has there been any political interference from their side with uh, these investigations? We're hoping to prove uh, to get those uh, questions to the ANC. But also playing another point that I must uh, add is how these cases are seemingly once again dividing the members of the ANC. You know that the party has been saying since 2015, 2015 where because of the divisions leading up to the conferences of the province as well as uh, the uh, ANC's national conference, that there have been divisions with they've been trying to restore unity in this province. But what we've seen playing with the arrests of uh, these leaders, how the ANC members have, to, have been divided. So apart from the fact that the ANC needs to um, decide how it's going to handle the arrests of its uh, officials and deployees to whether or not it's the municipalities or uh, uh, high, higher positions than that. It now needs to also discuss the matter of unity. These uh, uh, matters are causing deep divisions within the party. And so that is going to be another point that the ANC is going to have to critically deal with. How are they going to unite their members that have been divided over these cases? Uh, do we know if uh, Mayor Ndobe will be present at this briefing? I, I remember yesterday he was saying that he was seeking legal counsel as well as the counsel from the uh, leadership of the ANC. Do we know, will he be present today? We are not sure, uh, Blaine, whether or not he will be present. He did say that uh, he was going to be holding a media briefing on his own um, after he's met with uh, his legal counsel and met with the ANC uh, to speak about how he's going to uh, proceed uh, with uh, this whole issue or this cloud that is hanging over him. So one doubts, uh, Blaine, that he is going to be part of this briefing, uh, but uh, we are yet to uh, get official confirmation of that. We will know once the media briefing uh, gets underway. I am Trongo, live for us in the port city of Devon. Thank you very much indeed, as always, for your reporting. In other news.